Here we are on day 11, where we're looking at Jesus as the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. And for those of you who don't know that aspect of Jesus baptizing or immersing us in, in the very presence of the Holy Spirit, or you might be more familiar with the term confirmation, where the Holy Spirit comes and confirms you. But you know, the scripture really talks about how Jesus baptizes us, just like in water, but baptizes us in the very presence, in the very being of the Holy Spirit, and empowers us. And so as we're doing these 21 days of prayer and fasting and concentrating on prayer, particularly around who Jesus is and the name of Jesus and all that Jesus is in our prayer meditations and looking at the scripture for that, today we're looking at how Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit or with the Holy Spirit. And we're going to look at a scripture verse now. We're going to look at in scripture where it's John chapter 1 verses 32 to 33. Uh, I was going to do this earlier, but I actually forgot my booklet in the car, so I'm only in the door. Uh, so this is the, if you've got your booklet, this is where we're at today. We're on day 11. Uh, in John chapter 1, verses 32 to 33, it says this, the King James Version is what they're using here. It says this, it says, Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man to whom you see the Holy Spirit come down and remain is he who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And there's many scriptures to talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 2 is also a great passage of scripture to go into about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and many others. Uh, that God wants us to know him in deep measure to the sense of even being baptized in him, being in the fire of God, being actually in the fire of God, but not burnt up in judgment, but in blessing, in the blessing of his presence. And that Jesus makes that available to us. Jesus is the one who helps us to enter into that experience, just as he received the Holy Spirit in fullness. The Holy Spirit came upon him and remained upon him, even though he fully human. Uh, so likewise, we who have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, forgiven of our sins, being made holy in Jesus, can receive the Holy Spirit and confirmed as holy by the Holy Spirit's presence in our lives. And the Holy Spirit comes and baptizes us and the scripture talks about how the Holy Spirit brings us power, clothes us with power, helps us to be bold in our confidence, to speak out and witness for God, and also gives the gifts of the Spirit so that we can be in powerful way bring about the miraculous of the kingdom of God into people's lives out of love and blessing to them. So we need this very much so. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Not only did you work a work of salvation by which I am not only forgiven, but cleansed completely of all my sin and made righteous in you. In fact, given your very righteousness, made holy in you. And in you, Lord Jesus, in you and through your work that you come and baptize me immerse me in the very presence of the Holy Spirit, the very fire of God. Help me to experience that afresh. Help me to walk in it daily, the experience of your presence, Holy Spirit, in my life. And for family members and for church members. Lord God, may our church be a church where every single person experiences the baptism of the Holy Spirit that comes out of good news from Jesus, that they would have that genuine experience in God and that they would live in the good of it on a daily basis. The presence of the Holy Spirit, the immersion in the presence of the Holy Spirit, marinated in the very presence of God, uh, growing in the experience of the presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives to such a degree than the gifts of the Spirit flowing, the wisdom of the Holy Spirit flowing. May we be a church of that nature, a church that is led by the Spirit, filled with the Spirit, baptized in the Spirit, bold in the Spirit, gifted in the Spirit, empowered in the Spirit, men, women, young, old, children, all the above. And Lord God, may we also bring others into that experience Help them to others to experience the good news of Jesus, who is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. May we be empowered with the good news of that and helping people to experience God, the flame of God now and even into eternity. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church of God said, Amen. Be blessed and be a blessing. God bless you.